Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel, my name is Luis and in this video we are going to unbox and review the port keys PD-5-2 field monitor. So you can get this field monitor for about $135, uh, this one I got it from Amazon, I will leave all the details in the video description. Uh, if I forget to tell something about the device okay so this is the version 2 I believe the only difference uh, with the normal PT5 will be the the holes in the in the housing for for heat sink so that's about it okay so the it comes in this art shell case so it will protect your your monitor when carrying around for your recording locations okay so talking about the, the monitor it's a 1080p FHD IPS touchscreen um, it's 500 nit of brightness uh, it has HDMI in HDMI H HDMI output the power consumption is 7 watts uh, so this is a, an entry-level monitor for filmmakers look, looking for a compact on camera display the PD-5-2 features a 10-bit 5-inch 1080p display with 500 nit brightness and a 1000 to 1 contrast ratio the PT-52 housing with additional heat sink holes. This is the much more affordable monitor on the market. Okay, so what I didn't say yet. Okay, so it supports 3D LUT by USB input, and we can monitor. A lot of stuff directly with touch of your finger like 3d LUTs and a morphic RGB waveform new picking transparency adjustment color temperature zebra contrast OSD flip Luma Instagram Luma waveform backlight image flip cross hair grides false color custom RGB sharpness chroma brightness battery voltage checking tint guides check field and audio meters okay so the the hot shoe comes included it's metal good quality if you want to buy uh, this this part only from port keys i believe it costs around 40 dollars or almost $40 okay so metal good material it will not break uh, so the monitor is all plastic and the hot shoe is metal and good quality build okay so those sides protection you can can be removed so on well on this side we have the power button the USB in for the LUTs and also to power if you have a power uh, supply um, power connection here for the hot shoe HDMI in HDMI out and sound jack for headphones okay concerning batteries it supports Two kinds of battery it supports Canon E6 and Sony NPF batteries not included okay so those pieces for the wood, wood sun shadow we can remove and this is the monitor with nothing attached so 5 inch 
really small but yet bigger than your camera so if you plan to use it on a gimbal I think it's the ideal size it's not heavy at all it's really not heavy but you will need a battery to work with it okay okay so this is how it looks with the the sun cover and it is really easy to attach or detach as you can see it's really really easy okay okay so inside the box uh, I was talking about another thing while it was passing on the screen we can find two HDMI cables uh, Allen screw and instructions and a card with the social media codes to scan to go directly to the port keys page and that's it so this is where you connect your power supply if you wish to use it inside your house without batteries and for the batteries I bought also from Amazon these ones they power 5 5000 milliamps and a set of two units I paid around 35 euros okay and it works really well I will leave the links in the video description if anyone's anyone wants to check it also I will be leaving the, the links for the, the Sony A6400 KH as you see in the video and this is how the, the monitor mounts on my camera uh, when I'm using a tripod and as you can see the, the color is exactly the same of the the one the ones coming from the the monitor of the camera so yeah we will be able to change a lot of things I will show in the video this is how it looks with the Sun protection it also can be removed like this with carefully just not to break anything okay so really really nice if you are looking for a monitor to pair with your mirrorless or reflex camera I think this is a good option so touch screen I will show you everything in the video okay this is just to show you how it looks attached to your camera what do you expect from it okay so really really nice it will upgrade your kit to do better video and this is how it looks with the battery attached and the only thing that I don't like right now it's the cable it would be it's not flexible enough so it should be thinner so probably I will look for a thinner cable because uh, I plan to use this in my gimbal I will show it uh, later on in the video and I don't want uh, the cable to interfere with the gimbal motion okay so this is the time it takes to power on since you switch on the the button and now I will try to show you everything in detail so we can change brightness contrast 
chroma, sharpness, tint, and if you move, in, if you switch the screen to the left, you will be able to change more stuff. Okay, so everything is touchable, so uh, we can change all of these options like false color, like uh, Luma waveform, like grid lines, like guides. So, and you may select more than one, so when it becomes yellow, it's active. So, you, you can have a lot of those options turn on and yeah it works really well okay so also gives you information about the, the the power on the low uh, right corner and you, of course you can change the language if you don't speak English and you want to to switch for your language you can change you can change transparency you can preset the the device and we can use LUTs okay so I believe these ones came already preloaded on, on the device because I made a reset and they were there um, but you can load the the LUTs you have the, the LUTs you have on your computer to be used on your editing software so you just grab a flash drive format it in FAT and you can have folders or the files directly on the root okay so here we have uh, several root files and I have a folder I can access the folder I go back and I will install one directly from the root this, this one pp10 Q okay it's installed now let's check if we can apply the, the loot file to the to the video takes a while okay so let's now check the stored loot and if we get move to the right here it is the loot that we have just installed okay so don't forget if you are enjoying the video to help the channel and giving a, a thumbs up to the video i would appreciate very much your help okay so continuing we can update the firmware uh, by USB you, you will have to download from with you from your uh, from the internet from the website and then flush it from the flash drive okay and if you want you can add those options the ones that you use more to the left side of your main screen so it gives you ability to add or delete options to to your main screen okay so it works really well now I'm going to show you how it looks attached to my running S okay so this left arm where the the monitor is attached uh, I believe I bought it years ago from eBay it doesn't come with the running S but this is the way I will be using the monitor and I made a, a quick test here at home and it worked really well so I believe uh, I don't know if I, I will improve this setup but for me it, it, it seems to be working really well the only thing I want to change is the HDMI cable for a thinner one a more flexible one because I don't want the, the cable to interfere with my gimbal's motion. Okay, that's I think that's it. If you have questions, leave it on the on the comments. Please check the video description. I hope you did like the video, and if you did, consider to subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. Thank you very much. 
I catch you on a new video. Bye bye.